Well, this may be the earliest post-game thoughts that I've ever done because there's still 12 minutes to go in this game. This has to be the most embarrassing game I have ever seen my Dallas Cowboys play. This is the first game Dak Prescott's had two interceptions in the last 14 starts. Um, and that's the least of the Cowboys' problems in this game. We couldn't get open. We couldn't block. We couldn't tackle. We looked... And at this point, when you look at New Orleans, New Orleans who dropped 47 on the Carolina Panthers last week, and we all said it's just because Carolina was a bad team. Um, that says one of two things. That maybe Carolina is not as bad as we thought, or we can play as bad as Carolina. Because the Cowboys are down 41 to freaking 19. And this is some bullshit. This is, I, I, I don't even know how to, how, I, oh. You gave up over five and a half yards per run. The defensive line was blown into the secondary like there were safeties. The cornerbacks could not cover. We could not tackle Alvin Kamara. We looked like we didn't have any linebackers out there. Mike Zimmer didn't even throw a hissy fit. This is... That may be the first tackle for a loss that we've seen in this game. That may be the first one. First one. Points allowed the last two home games, 48 against Green Bay, 41 today. Now, if there's any positive news I can say, and there ain't much, is at least... This is still part of that dreaded time. We got 68 yards running the football to 156. Is this is part of that dreaded um, early part of the season where it's still like preseason? But this is just bad. They, oh, we got our second stop. Oh, okay. You mean they're actually going to have to punt for the first time today? For, for punt for the first time this season. We got nine minutes and 43 seconds left. But Jerry Jones and Dallas Cowboys, I think that you guys need to issue a refund to every single Dallas Cowboy fan that came there to support the team, and you need to buy them a drink. This is pathetic. This is some... Mm, this, this is... This, this, I don't even know what to say. I, there's, there's no, there's no redeeming qualities in this game. There's, but at least usually. Oh, oh no, Brandon Albert, our kicker. 
<laughs> our kicker. <laughs> There's the positive. Our kicker. <laughs> our, that that boy is good. I, I think when we get the football, I, no matter where we get, just kick it. Just just kick a field goal. That's 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 what we need to do. Um, I think what's going to have to happen with this game. I don't even know that you look at the film on this game. I think you need to literally just forget it. Just forget this game that it didn't exist and start all over. Because it was just, there's no redeeming qualities whatsoever in this thing. Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, my interceptions. How many interceptions did that have? Okay, he got two today. He had none last week. Alma Williams, I'm out. I can't blame you. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I, Sam Darnold's cooking now. Okay. Looking around the NFL, right now San Francisco's losing 20 to 14 with Minnesota driving deep uh, in uh, San Francisco territory. We got Cleveland beating the Jags. We got Baltimore 23-13 over uh, the Raiders. And we have the Giants 18-15 over Washington. Maybe my dad will win that one. Here we go. Offensive line is just... Uh, it, it, everything... Okay. If you were... Listening to Dan Orlowski, and when he talked about all of the questions that he had, last week all the questions were answered positively. This week, all of the questions were answered negatively. Because he said, you know, you got two starting rookie offensive linemen. The offensive line, not just the rookies, has been shit. Okay? You haven't given the quarterback time. Linebackers. Linebackers aren't out there making plays today. And receivers, as soon as they get the ball, even before they get the ball, are getting punched. You, you, you see New Orleans looks like they're the home team. They're fired up, and they are kicking the Cowboys' teeth in. Because see, here's the thing. You know, everybody talks and gives all the love to the Dallas Cowboys. If you're the New Orleans Saints that you went out there last week and you kicked the teeth in of the Carolina Panthers and nobody gives you any credit, they end up saying, oh, it was just a loser team and you really suck. They came out here like gangbusters to prove that they don't suck. And almost another interception. They are literally just trying anything at this point to do anything. And we're going to have to freaking punt the ball from our own end zone. It's... It's disgusting. You 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 talk all week. You you get excited all day. You get up early. You make the the the, the, the you, you cook food. You get ready to entertain. You pump up the team. You sell the bullshit and everything else for Jerry Jones. And they come out and they do this shit. They do this shit. Howard Floyd. I remember one year when the Eagles went to San Francisco and smacked them down forty to, to eight. And San Francisco was the best team in the league at the time. You're right. This is just one game. Yes, it is just one game. But you know what? You don't ever get manhandled like that. If the, if, 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 if the Cowboys have any grit in them, if they have any balls to them, if they have any self-respect, after this beating, and we are literally about to go down 48 to 19, 48 to 19, that you, 
as a man that has just had your lunch taken from me, that you get up off the mat and you man the F up. You have to man the F up. That you got to have this taste. Don't, don't, don't hide from this shit, okay? You need to wear the loser, the loser on your forehead. They need to just go ahead and take a marker and put it in red. Loser, because you got the shit. You lost, or, or an S for suck. Just right, suck right on your forehead, okay? And man up and own this shit. Own it. That we were like crap. That we were like crap. And that we got to do better than this. And remember that damn feeling. Remember when you got humiliated at home for the second time in a row. That you stuck up the place. I'm disgusted. I'm literally disgusted. That's... Just checking you still. Yes, we're still the damn boys. I'm still a Dallas Cowboy fan, and nothing's going to change that until, until the day I die. And it probably won't be changed then either. Yes, I support this team. I love this team. I hate this shit right here. I hate this shit. But this is my team, and I got to stick with them. I'm not one of those fair weather punk ass biatches that are going to turn the thing off. I'm going to sit here and let my eyes bleed at this sorry ass performance. I am going to remember this game. I'm going to remember this feeling so that every time that that that, that the Cowboys do something and we the boys and we out there partying and we doing this shit and all that and that we're, we're listening to Micah Parsons podcast and everything else. And yo, man, well, you know, I'm going to remember this shit here. I'm going to remember this shit. How bad we were. Because you can do this shit at any time. At any time. Sorry, ass. This is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Sorry, Robbie. Uh, sorry. Disgusting.